Hi everyone, welcome back to Pets and Paws channel. In today's video we are going to talk about best cat breeds for first time cat owners. But before we start, please make sure that you are subscribed and let's jump right into the video. According to the world famous psychologist Sigmund Freud, time spent with cats is never wasted. Cats are known to be relatively easy to care for, but some are much easier than others. Let's take a look at which breeds are your best introduction to the world of cats. Maine Coon Cats The Maine Coon is medium to large, and males are larger than females. The body is long and rectangular and the tail is also long. For these reasons, she may look much larger than she is. The Maine Coon is a heavily boned, muscular cat. Originally she was an outdoor cat, and later became a working breed who kept barns and homes clear of rodents. The head is large with tall ears. The profile shows a slight dip under the large eyes. The chest is broad, and the legs are thick. The coat of the Maine Coon is heavy but silky. An interesting characteristic is that the coat is shaggy and drapes longer on the stomach and behind the legs, breeches, but is shorter over the shoulders. Personality Despite her size and history, the Maine Coon cat is sweet-tempered and gentle. She loves her parents and adapts to any environment as long as she has some exercise room. When she runs, she can be quite loud but her soft, quiet voice reassures you that this lion is truly a lamb. Ragdoll Cats The ragdoll is a large, long-bodied cat. She is heavily boned with a long tail and a plush coat. The ragdoll appears even bigger than she is. The ragdoll has a medium-sized head, but the fur makes her face appear large. The ears are also medium-sized and are set on the sides of the head to continue the look of the triangular face. The legs are long and strong. The chin should be well-developed, and the oval eyes should be blue. The ragdoll comes in color patterns. A ragdoll with a color point pattern has a light body color with contrasting, darker color on the extremities, mask, and ears. The bicolor ragdoll also exhibits dark points, but will show an inverted V on the forehead, with the stomach, all four legs and the ruff being white. The mitted ragdoll also shows points, but in this color pattern, the feet are white, as is the chin. The coat can vary in length from semi-long to long. It is soft, plush and silky. Personality The ragdoll is a placid cat but does not really go limp when you hold her. She is even-tempered and gets along well with all family members. Changes in routine generally do not upset her. She is an ideal companion for those in apartments. Siamese The Siamese is a long, elegant cat. The body is long, the neck is long, the legs and tail are long. The breed is medium-sized but nicely muscled. The Siamese is a cat of extremes. The head is a long triangle. The tall ears are set on the head to be a continuation of this triangle. The nose is long and straight. The legs are long and slender. The tail is long and tapers to a point. The eyes are almond-shaped and bright blue. The Siamese coat is short, glossy and lies close to the body. The beauty of the Siamese cat is the look of the slender body, the blue eyes and the contrast between the color on the body and the darker color of the extremities. This contrast is called color restriction, or, more commonly, pointing. The color of the fur on the ears, tail and feet are a different color than that of the body, and this darker color gradually blends into the lighter color of the body. The face also shows a mask of the same deeper point color. The mask covers the face, surrounds the eyes and covers the whisker pads. The mask is smaller in a kitten and gradually increases as she grows. Personality The Siamese cat is not only beautiful, but also she is highly intelligent. She can be trained to walk on a lead. This intelligence does not mean, however, that she can be trained to do everything you might wish. Like most other highly intelligent breeds, the Siamese has her own desires. The Siamese is an affectionate cat and requires her parents to be as dedicated to her as she is to her parents. Her parents must be affectionate to the Siamese and make time to play with her. American Shorthair Cats The American Shorthair is a medium-sized cat, but she is a very powerful one. She is heavily muscled and has heavy boning. Her rounded, thick appearance makes you realize that she will be heavy when you pick her up. The American Shorthair is a powerful cat. All components of this cat should be well-developed. She has a broad chest, a muscular neck, strong jaws and a well-developed muzzle. Her legs are thick and strong. She looks like what she was originally meant to be, a cat to keep rodents out of the barn in the house. The coat of the American Shorthair is thick and dense. Her coat becomes much longer and thicker during the winter. The texture of her coat is relatively hard as it is meant as protection for her. 
Personality. The American Shorthair is a very pleasant companion cat. She is easygoing and placid. The American is a loving cat and will attach herself to all members of the family. While the American loves to play, she doesn't need hourly attention. If she is in the mood to play, she will bring her parent a toy. The American also plays well by herself. She is a very good companion for single people. Scottish Folds. The Scottish Fold is a medium-sized cat with medium-sized boning. She is a very round-looking cat. The head is round and the folded ears heighten that illusion of roundness. The eyes are very round, bright and clear. The legs appear round, as does the tail in comparison to its length. The short coat is easy to care for. Some registries allow a long-haired version of the Scottish Fold called the Scottish Fold Long Hair. Their longer coats can vary slightly in texture and require regular care. Personality. The Scottish Fold is a sweet, charming breed. She is an easy cat to live with and to care for. She is affectionate and is comfortable with all members of her family. Her tail should be handled gently. Some of these cats are known to develop stiffness in the tail that can cause pain if it is mishandled or accidentally handled in a rough manner. Sphinx Cats. The Sphinx is a medium-sized cat with a striking appearance, identified by her hairless, wrinkled skin and large ears. She has a sleek, muscular body that is dense and heavy for her size. The breed is medium-sized but nicely muscled. Her head is triangular with wide-set eyes and prominent cheekbones that call back to the cats of ancient Egypt, a resemblance that inspired the naming of this breed. Apart from being hairless, the Sphinx's most notable feature is her large, triangle-shaped ears that resemble those of a bat. Although the Sphinx appears to be completely bald at first glance, closer inspection will often reveal a very fine, short coat of fuzz that gives the skin the feel of fine suede. It's the hairlessness that primarily marks a sphinx, with color and pattern lying in the pigmentation patterns of the skin. Color and markings can vary widely and can come in almost any color or pattern, including solid, tabby or tortoise shell. Personality. The sphinx cat is an energetic, acrobatic performer who loves to show off for attention. She has an unexpected sense of humor that is often at odds with her dour expression. Friendly and loving. This is a loyal breed who will follow you around the house and try to involve herself in whatever you're doing, grabbing any opportunity to perch on your shoulder or curl up in your lap. As curious and intelligent as she is energetic, these traits can make her a bit of a handful. For her own safety, the Sphinx does best as an exclusively indoor cat, and generally gets along well with children and other pets. Abyssinians. The Abyssinian is a medium-sized cat with a long body and nicely developed muscles. She is an active cat that loves to jump and play. The Abyssinian is moderate looking in all aspects with smooth planes on her head. She has a gentle dip in the triangular head. Her rather large ears sit tilted forward on her head giving her an alert, aware look about her as if she is always paying attention to everything that is going on around her. Her eyes, which look large in her face, show the alertness and intelligence inherent in the breed. The coat on the Abyssinian is short and has tufts of hair in her ears. The coloring of the Abyssinian is very special. The majority of the fur has bands of color on each individual hair with the coat looking darker along the spine line. The color on her body softens and lightens under the neck and the underside of the cat and the insides of her legs. Personality. While an active cat, the Abyssinian is an easy cat to have in your home. They love people and other animals. They will play with their own toys for hours but also enjoy a good period of time of interactive play with their parents. They will talk to you in a soft, quiet voice. The Abyssinian is loving and affectionate, and loves to spend time with her parents. While the Abyssinian coat is easy to care for, the Abyssinian likes being combed or rubbed with a chamois cloth. She will reward you with a loving purr. Burman Cats. The Burman is a long cat and can become quite large. Males are usually larger than females. They are heavily boned cats and can appear somewhat stocky in every feature. The Burman has very unusual markings. She looks like a pointed cat with four white feet, mitted, and deep blue eyes. The head is actually triangular, but the Burman has such a broad skull that the face can appear almost rounded. The Burman has a Roman nose and medium-sized ears. The fur of the Burman is medium-long, soft and silky. It tends not to mat and is easy to care for. Personality. The Burman is a more private breed and tends to attach itself to one person. Some Burmans can show a bit of jealousy if their parents do not pay attention to them. While they are territorial, they are not aggressive. Somali. The Somali is a medium-sized cat with a long body and nicely developed muscles. 
The Somali is moderate looking in all aspects with smooth planes on her head. She has a gentle dip in the triangular head. Her rather large ears sit tilted forward giving her an alert, aware look as if she is always paying attention to everything. The eyes, which look large in the face, show the alertness and intelligence inherent in the breed. The coat on the Somali is full with exaggerated tufts of hair in the ears. The fur is soft without being woolly and the tail is fluffy like a fox's tail. The coloring of the Somali is special. The majority of the fur has bands of color on each individual hair, with the coat looking darker along the spine line. The color on the body softens and lightens under the neck and the underside of the cat and the insides of the legs. She has a wild look about her, but is not at all extreme except in the color of the fur, which carries bands of color giving her a richness and depth not seen in other breeds. Personality The Somali is an active cat who loves to jump and play. In spite of that, she is an easy cat to have in your home. Somalis love people and other animals. Somalis are social cats and like to have some company. This company can be provided by another cat or when people are not at home. They will play with their own toys for hours, but also enjoy a good period of time of interactive play with their parents. Somalis will talk in their soft, quiet voice. Persians. The Persian is usually a medium-sized cat, although she is massive and heavily boned. With her masses of fur, she can appear larger than she really is. The Persian is an extreme-looking breed. The body is short, but thick with thick legs and a short, thick neck. The tail is short and the ears are small. The head is round with large, round eyes. When viewed in profile her face is flat and the nose changes direction so that what is seen is mostly the colored flesh on her nose. The coat on a Persian is thick, full and long. It is fine, but should be lustrous and glossy. Personality The Persian is a placid cat that exhibits bursts of kitten-like activity. She will be sleeping in the sun when she suddenly explodes, running around the room and rolling around. The Persian will stretch out next to you, sleep in your bed, and sit on your lap when she is in the mood. She does not mind changes in routine and is generally friendly with anyone and everyone. Exotic short hairs. The exotic is usually a medium-sized cat, although she is massive and heavily boned. She has a broad chest and can appear larger than she really is. The exotic is an extreme-looking breed. The body is short but very thick with thick legs and a short, thick neck. The boning is heavy but the tail is short and the ears are small. The head is round with large, round eyes. When viewed in profile, the face is flat and the nose changes direction so that mostly nose leather is seen. The coat on an exotic is thick and plush. The coat appears rather puffy because the undercoat is so thick. Personality of the exotic is the same as Persians. Bengals. The Bengal truly does remind you of a wild cat in appearance. She is a large cat and is heavily muscled, although the boning may be surprisingly light for her size. When you see her, everything about her appears large, massive and thick. The only thing that is moderate is the medium leg length. The Bengal has a large, triangular-shaped head. She has a thick neck, large feet and a thick tail. The pattern limited by the infusion of the tabby gene in the original hybridization. A brown-spotted Bengal does look like a feral cat. The spots on the coat should not line up in rows, but should appear randomly placed. The coat of the Bengal is short and may even feel a little rough naturally. The coat is easy to care for. Personality. While many people consider the Bengal to be a wild cat that only pretends to be domesticated, the breed is actually very sweet and loving. The Bengal attaches closely to her people and is a loyal friend. As a large, athletic cat, the Bengal needs to run, jump, and romp to be contented. She is a curious and alert cat. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what cat breed I should talk about in detail. See you in the next videos.